Former President Joe Biden has been diagnosed with what is described as an aggressive form of prostate cancer that has spread to his bones. The 82 year old is reviewing options with his family, though doctors suggest chemotherapy may be ideal. Experts remain optimistic, citing modern advances. Well, we're learning more tonight about what this diagnosis means and how exactly prostate cancer attacks the body. Graham Lee has more details. Prostate cancer is an unusual growth of cells in a man's prostate, typically impacting males over the age of 40. Health experts at doctor's hospitals say it's diagnosed through a common medical test. It's diagnosed by a biopsy like most cancers are, and then that biopsy tissue um, is reviewed under a microscope, and then the pathologist who's reviewing that assigns it a, a grade or a Gleason score. A statement from the former president's office confirms Biden has a Gleason score of nine, meaning it's a very aggressive stage of prostate cancer. Stewart says it's concerning, but the disease is treatable. We would say it's manageable and, and it's managed uh, in some cases, especially in older folks, it can be managed like a chronic disease. Um, and while not necessarily curable, it, it, it might not be uh, necessarily life threatening. This is uh, Dr. Simpson, Greg Simpson, and that's Dr. Darrell Nettles. While the Biden family is looking at treatment options, here at home, Reverend Christopher Leslie has been battling the disease for two years, getting the diagnosis just days before preaching a sermon. My sermon topic was, I choose to believe. And it was in that moment that God convicted me. And he said to me that I cannot preach this sermon if I cannot walk my faith. He's now started an organization called Hashtag Men Need to Talk. He says it's all about giving a voice to other men in the area going through the same struggle. I want to get us to the point where we don't have to whisper. And it's okay to say, I dealt with prostate cancer or I have prostate cancer. And when we can remove the shame and remove the fear, then we can get to the victory.